Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello. Wallpapering over texture. Does that give you the heebie-jeebies? Well... It takes a little extra finesse to install wallpaper over texture. Before you hang the paper over texture, you're going to take your scraper and knock off the points. Believe it or not, if you don't think there are points on your texture, look on the floor after you do it and you'll see them. Very clearly. The point being that if you try to smooth this type of wallpaper, over texture, like so. This is not vinyl, this is paper. It's good quality stuff. But nonetheless, what you'll get. Let me show you. Let me show you what you'll get. Watch this. Your wallpaper takes a beating. Takes a beating. The moral of the story, the purpose of the video, is to show you simply knock down the points. Because if you don't, these points may point through and penetrate your wallpaper. And then you can get a beautiful finish like this. If you just take that simple preliminary step. Second point of the video seems. What is the difference between this seam and a seam over a flat wall? Well, I'll tell you. Do you see the space between your wallpaper and your texture? Does everybody see that? Let's take another sheet of wallpaper and put it up against that, that gap. Well, we can't make it flat there. <clears throat> Here's the point. When you go to join your seam, just take for instance the space right here where that wallpaper is joined. Do you see the visible mark? Do you see the visible seam? If your customer doesn't want to remove the texture, in some cases, that's the best you're gonna get. Here's why. This edge of wallpaper is doing this over all of the bumps. And when you join your next seam and butt them together, this one is finishing up on a little bump and this side is going over a large bump right next to it, which results in your seam being visible because they're doing this over the bumps. However, to finish off the second point of the video, you see this tool right here in my hand? The palm of my hand, watch this. By the way, this is not dirt, it's the ink from the wallpaper. I'm a lefty, so I move my hand from my right to my left. Now you see what I'm doing? 
Don't try to use a smoother over this. You will get practically invisible seams despite the fact that it's over texture. If you use the fat part of your hand, your strong hand that is, take a look at that seam. And that's all you're gonna do. Oh, it's a little visible there, isn't it? Watch this. Wow. Look at the seam disappear. It's a lot of work. But you know what, in the end? It's worth it. I'm going to my right hand. Be careful. Now, this is a paste. This is a pre-pasted wall covering. Okay, there's my seam right there, right? And so, oh, we don't want to purse the seam. We do want to push it right up against there. The point of this is to use the fat of your hand to do the work. Please don't try to use a tool to get the seams on wallpaper that's put over texture to look invisible, don't do that. If you follow this video, you will save yourself a lot of, a lot of trouble. <laughs> the reason being is that when you waste $100 on three sheets, because you beat the seams up with a smoother, right? The instructions aren't going to tell you that the smoother is going to beat the seam up. I'm here to tell you that. Okay? And so don't use it. Don't use it. Use this part of your hand. So that you can enjoy Invisible seams as well. The seam is wet. If you can see it, it's because it's saturated. I'll see you on the next video. If my good viewers are interested in this product, that's the product. And it's a name brand wallpaper. And it probably cost you 80 bucks a double roll, which will give you three sheets per roll. But look at the beautiful wallpaper you get, right? Now, just because the ink comes off a bit, don't think it's cheap. It's not. You're just gonna go around with your sponge and sponge off the color. Now, you see the little wrinkle there from expansion? Don't go crazy, you don't wanna take off the black. Just push it down. And if you have a little bubble there, let it go. It's thin stuff. The air will pass through it after your wallpaper pulls tight against the wall. And that's it, folks. This is a straight match, meaning that if you go straight across on a level line, you will see the same pattern on the first part of the first sheet on the left, and the same exact pattern on the adjoining sheet. On a level plane, you'll see the same exact pattern. These are chevrons, right? So, I hope you enjoy this video and use the tips that I provide for you because everything I give to my viewers is after making dumb mistakes in the past. Okay, thank you for watching.